Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix um, two messages you may see. One is um, when you, you know, like reboot a device from TWRP and it says encryption unsuccessful, and the other is um, like failure to mount data or unable to mount data or like forward slash data in TWRP, and the same goes for unable to mount cache and such. The reason is is because both of these, both of these, um, are fixed in the exact same way. Now, this way is done by going to wipe, advanced wipe, and here you'll see these seven options. You can ignore mic, you can ignore micro SD and USB OTG because I don't have a USB OTG cable attached or micro SD card in, card in. Um, but you have to watch out for these five. Now, internal storage, you repair, you can't, and Dalvik cache, repair, you can't, it says invalid partition. Um, so we're going to ignore those. It's mainly the cache system and data. And what you're going to want to do is, if I just show you, have a look. If I repair, you'll see this. If you just let it focus, there. Um, it, you you'll see this. Except you probably won't. You'll probably see size zero, free zero, use zero, backup zero. And so what you're going to want to do, um, or oh, you'll actually, I'll just show you data as well. Data, you'll probably just see zeros um, here and there. And in fact, your current file system in all of these, mine's X4 for all of these, but yours might not be, which you know isn't, which is the reason um, what what's causing the problem. So if I just go back, so what you're going to want to do is go to data and repair or change file system, change file system, and here you'll see you've got X2, X3, X4, and FAT. Now. If you're running like um, a later version of TWRP, as this is a Galaxy S3, um, you know it's running an old version. You can see there 2.8.6.1, as opposed to like 3.0.2.2 or something. Um, you only have these four options. Now you probably have XFAT as well and something else. What you're mainly interested in is X4 here. What you're going to want to do in data is go X4 and swipe to change. Um, change. Uh, it says change data to X4. That's what you're going to want to do. Um, now, if it comes up with any form of error saying unable to mount data, unable to mount cache or anything, um, then you're going to have to try a different one. You're going to always want to do data first, however, because that's the main thing. And if you don't do data first, cache nor system will be able to format properly. So then you're going to try FAT, you know, change data to FAT. Um, if it focuses there. And then again, swipe to change. And if it comes up with any errors, then you have to go back. And if you just got these four options here, try the next two and next three. Um, and if they don't work, and if it keeps on saying failure, try formatting cache and system, and try formatting them in different um, orders and arrangements. But continue to use those two in X4, and then try those two with FAT. In reality. You don't really want to be using X2 and X3, they're just not used. But if you do have X fat here, then after X4 and fat, try pressing an X fat button, which might be like here or here or something. Press that and swipe. And for example, on my, the thing I'm recording this with is a OnePlus 2. On mine, I had to do mine for X fat, and then it came up and all the data worked fine. Then go back, go back, and you're going to want to go to cache. And do the same thing, except you're going to pretty much always want to do X4. There isn't a reason why you wouldn't. And what you'll notice is here, afterwards, this will say size, free, use, and backup. They'll actually be the sizes and such of the actual device. So for data, let's just say, it will actually come up with your space. For example, my OnePlus 2, 54 gigabytes here, 11 gigabytes. And then you just then do system last, change file system, X4 and then swipe across the bottom. And this will, what happens is then when you reboot your phone, is your reboot, or, well, okay, first of all, when you reboot your phone, everything will be fine. If you've got the unsuccessful encryption, you won't have that anymore, but, no, you won't have that anymore, but you're gonna go on to install, and install, you know, whatever, oh, whoops, upper level, you're gonna want to install whatever, um, you know, 
ROM or or stock or stock um OS custom OS you want. You're gonna to have to install that first, then reboot. And then what will happen is you will not get the message of um, unsuccessful encryption, or you won't get unable to mount data or anything, or you would have already got past that. And that's it. Now I think mainly this problem comes from you know fast boot erase data and fast boot erase cache um, on the computer side of things. But generally, it, it's a very fixable problem, so don't worry. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like, rate, subscribe, or click the subscribe button on the screen. Well, thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.